Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and believe it or not, I have another accessible game video, and I have another accessible horror game video. So we're going to have lots of stuff, uh, lots of cool stuff, likely in the a month of October. I've already got <clears throat> the Papa Sangre in the Night Jar that I'm probably going to do at some point. I uh, just recorded a video, uh, a couple videos for another accessible iOS game, and now we have an accessible PC game that I just discovered fairly recently. So we are looking at an interesting variant of a game that I've covered, at least in some form on the channel before. There's been different iterations of it. Um, but remember Slender Man. I don't remember which iteration. There's a version of it on Steam that I uh, covered on the channel, what, a year or two ago? And now I find out that there's <clears throat> somebody is the, it's an early version right now, but somebody has made an accessible variant on that called Slender Lost Vision, and it's uh, basically a very similar concept. Now I have not played this at all. I looked at the website. I kind of skimmed through the README file. It seems uh, pretty straightforward. It is first person. You are walking around the forest as you would in the original Slender Man game. And you are looking around for eight of these pages that you have to collect. And the more pages that you do collect, uh, Slenderman is not particularly happy about that. And will try to hunt you down. So, other than going into the game to make sure that it worked, I have not played this at all. Let's jump in. So basically you download a zip file. Um, and I'll try to remember to put a link to the site where you can grab this particular game in the description below for you guys. And uh, you download the zip file, you unzip it, and there's like a readme file, there's a couple data files or whatever, and then there's the slender.exe, just a slender executable file. So we are in the uh, main title here, although there doesn't seem to be, I wonder if I can get rid of, okay, I was trying to see if I could go full screen and get rid of that bar at the top. So you literally cannot see a thing. There's no UI, there's no HUD, there's nothing. This is all going to be audio. And since I've done a little bit, since I had to do that little reform, or not reformat, but basically re, uh, reset Windows thing, my I'm hoping that my audio levels will be good for this, because um, things have changed a little bit as far as my recording setup goes. So, I'm digging, I have I don't remember what the music was for the original game, but I'm digging this kind of intro, kind of creepy, creepy music we got going on here. And this is a game, again, definitely you're going to want to play this with headphones, you know, play it at night, whatever. And, uh, yeah, let's get the crap scared out of us, shall we? So, it turns out I hit spacebar to, do, to go. Basically, in this game, you just use WASD to your standard uh, movement controls for any of you first-person aficionados. And then you use your left button to collect pages if you find them. And right mouse button will give you uh, your compass. It'll, it'll tell you where north is when you're standing still. And that's it. So, uh, let's get murdered, more than likely. Boom. All right, so hit space. Okay, we're footsteps. Jumping over a chain link fence. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that can't be good. Okay, there's your intro. That's all you get. So, we hear wolves. Now, I thought I heard a page. Now, it did say that if you don't collect any pages, you typically don't have to worry about Slender. You can kind of, Slender Man. You can kind of explore a little bit. But since I hear one, we're just going to dive right in. Okay. So I'm centering that in my audio scape here. Did I not collect it? Because 
because it sounds like pages right there, doesn't it? And then this thing is also randomized. So the forest is random every time, apparently. Okay, so north is to my right. I, I swear that's... I'm guessing that's paper. But that little... I think that's me hitting something. Now you can run, but you do have stamina, so I'm not going to do that right now. Well, I don't know. So let's go this way. I swear that it sounds like it's right there. Okay, so let's go north, shall we? Good audio. And I like the fact that, you know, the, the books, they, it sounds like, you know, rough as rustling pages, but it doesn't sound really cheesy. You know, everything sounds, you know, realistic. It doesn't sound as, like, you know, gamey. If that makes sense. Like exaggerated. Okay, so north is, it looks like, straight ahead. Okay, we're hitting something. Now, I have, I have no idea how big this area is. Crazy on the wolves there, guys. I would like to at least find one page. Jeez. I don't think you need quite as many wolves. It's like a constant... Okay. I hear paper. Jesus, criminy wolves. Don't look where it takes you. Okay, I got... Okay. I got a page. Because it says stuff. And now we got a... Oh boy. Yeah, this is right out of the original. I recognize kind of that general thrumming. And there's like three different stages of Slender. You'll hear light static. If he's close. But you can get away. Away from me. Okay, we're hearing static. Okay, 
Okay, come on, lady, get your breath back. I'm so gonna die. Listen for pages. Little chitter creature there. Can't really talk much because no, I don't hear any pages. Okay, north is to the right. Oh, I heard a page. Like it's right in front of me. Can't tell if it's getting further away. It's a little bit, I think it'd be a little, it could be a little bit easier to, to, to determine where the pages are. I mean, I hear it, but. I think I'm getting further away. I, I don't know if I'm hitting the... See, the other thing I'm not clear on is I don't know if I'm hitting the edge of the area when it goes... Tick, tick, when it does that. Or if I'm just like bumping into a tree and then I skirt around it. I don't know. There's a little bit of trial and error sort of ambiguity to it. Well, I found one page. Okay. <sighs> I guess we'll go... Yeah, these must be just must be hitting trees or something. Maybe they slow you down. Cause I hear the damn page right there. Well, we'll just wander around and see if we can find another one then. I don't know. Sure, why not? So we're going west. And they purposely said in the readme, you know, they're like, no, there's not many readme, there's not many, um, navigation, there's not much navigation guidance, really. It's all up to you to find it out. So we're just moving with our mouse here, or turning around with our mouse. Alright, you know what? Oh! Uh-oh. That... That would be slender. Uh... I'm probably gonna die here. I don't know... Uh-oh, that's definitely not good. Okay. Going east. I'm getting quieter. Okay, she's tired. But... He's not super close. Catch your breath, lady. Catch your breath. Okay, let's get away from the static nonsense. Ah! Hi, how you doing? 
beginning. No, I'm not going to run because... Okay, I think... He's coming to us here. I, I want to run, but I can't exactly tell where he is. Sounds like he's off to our left. She's tired again. Oh, that is a really obnoxious sound, I gotta admit. Like, for a prolonged period of time, that's really obnoxious. Let's just... Let's get killed. I wanna see... Hey, buddy. How you... Yeah. Okay, and then it just exits the game. Okay, so let's go into it one more time. I wonder if that isn't the original music in the in the uh, original Slenderman game. I can't remember. Catching them less though. So we'll try this one more time. Now again, the forest is going to be randomized. And apparently there's like a tunnel that's sort of safe, and then there's a crashed car somewhere. That's what the readme said. So this seems like a fairly a uh, fairly accurate, re, you know, reimagining of these eight pages Slender Man concept. Okay. Don't look where it takes you. Oh wow! Okay, I landed on a page right away. Okay, so it is on. Like two seconds in, we're on, man. Some shit is gonna go down here. <laughs> I'd love to find more than one page. Thought I heard. Yeah. Okay, we're close. Picture of a tall, slender man with a featureless face, huh. wearing a suit. Headlined Earth. by the word follows. Okay, we got two pages. Now things are going to get real bad. Okay, we're going east. Shut up, wolf. I think I hear pages up on ahead. And I don't know the dimensions of the forest either. Like, is it a big square area? Is it kind of rectangular? Is it long and narrow? Is it weirdly shaped? Like a, you know, uh-oh. Okay, here are pages. Where are you? Okay. Pages are this way. Close. Come on. A picture of a tall, slender man with a featureless face, wearing a suit. Headlined by the word follows. Okay, so presumably I got three. I think. Must have. The music hasn't picked up yet. Or the ambient, like, thumping, drumming, whatever. Okay, why can't I move? Okay, that I think I hit the edge of the 
level because I can't walk anymore. There's no tone, but I can't hear any footsteps. If I turn around... No? What the hell? Um... Alright, how do I move? I can turn, but now I don't hear any f What the hell? Okay, I can go backwards. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, I can't tell if I'm walking closer. Okay, wait. What the hell is that? What? I don't know what that noise means. I can't even begin to guess. Oh. Oh. Okay, we better get out of dodge here. I think there could be a little bit more audio cues for a few certain things, but this is really cool still. And I'm glad it exists, because this is kind of neat. Okay, you're getting... Uh-oh. Oh, balls. You're getting louder. Okay, she's tired. I don't like... Okay, don't want to go that way. Going north, I think. I almost wish there was like a higher, like, it's hard to tell, like, you know, when things are in front of you, uh-oh, versus behind you, um, like, I wish there was like a higher tone for north, lower for south or something, just so you would know. Yeah, that noise is actually really obnoxious, like, that screeching in my left ear right now. I know it's accurate to the original game, but we yeah. have. I have a funny feeling I'm gonna die here again. Pretty quickly. I don't wanna go. Get away from me! static going here. I wonder... Oh man, he was right on my butt. I was going to try to do a quick Yui. Maybe that would be a good thing to have, is a, like a, a 180 degree turn, because in, you know, in this... The audio work is really good, um, but the thing is, is I just don't know, like, in a way there's not quite enough I don't know if there's not, not quite enough guidance, but there's a few things that I don't quite understand. You know, like the little pop, pop. Like, I don't know if that's I'm hitting a border and I'm just walking in place because I'm hitting the border. Or if I'm just bumping into trees. Um, and then there was that part right where Slenderman started to show up where I was trying to move and I wasn't hearing any footsteps. Now, I don't know if I wasn't moving or if just the footstep sound effects weren't playing. Um, like I said, they, he did say that it was an early version, so there are some potential bugs and stuff like that. But, I, you know, what's there is a good start, you know? I mean, it's, um, I would say, pretty faithful to the concept of the original. You even it sounds like you have the original kind of voice that you would get for the uh, for the pages. Uh, I think we got three pages that time. So, you know what, I think, um, you know, there's not much more that can be said for, what is it, Slender Lost Vision, I think it was. Um, I think we'll just wrap it up here. I had an okay run the second time, got a little bit further, and so hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, definitely, if you want an accessible horror game, maybe check this one out. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. 
But uh, yeah, anyway, that was pretty interesting. Slender uh, Lost Vision. And uh, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. And until next time, I will talk with you guys again later.